Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to do this wonderful, very iconic view of Arcadia National Park. That's a very famous scene there uh, near Thunder Hole. Anyway, uh, do a little sketch of it. It's very easy. And then we're going to paint the whole scene here to all the rocks uh, with a very warm color. This is a cadmium red, little touch of raw sienna. But keep it very light. That's going to be the light on the rocks. And then you have this big section of uh, rocks in the front that will get very warm. But I just want to put a little color in there right now. So that's cadmium red with a little bit of raw sienna. A little, even a touch of quincyana if you want. It's, a, it's got a brown tint to it. All right, now we're going to paint the water. I'm, I'm just using Windsor Blue here. This is the first blush on the water. As you, as you know, whenever we paint water, it's done in layers. Uh, this is a little dry brush there to get a little sparkle on the water. Not pushing it, but you know, just risk across with the brush. Wipe out that horizon line. We, I didn't paint anything in the sky yet. All right, I'm going to put the trees in. This is ultramarine uh, with a little touch of Windsor blue and a really yellow. It's a nice soft green. So I'm painting the tree line with a flat brush. You can see that little, that little uh, maneuver with the brush gives you a beautiful uh, tree line. And a little darker. As I come down, I'm adding a little more pigment to it. So it's getting a little darker as it gets down because it's getting less light in here, right? As it gets down into the trees itself. And so you can add more pigment. I added a little bit of raw sienna in there and a little more uh, ultramarine blue. And a little flicking of the brush, as you can see, will give you a nice sense of a, a tree line, which is really good. You want to keep that going and bring that right down. And each time you do it, add a little more pigment so it gets a little darker. Okay. And we'll bring it right across. And I'll pop the photo in there for you so you can see. So this section, this section of the rocks and the trees come together in a deep shadow. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding uh, more blue to it, uh, ultramarine, or you can even uh, even charge it with some cobalt blue, which gives you a beautiful sense of reflective light in there. So just cleaning up the edge and I'm letting the edge of the trees go down into the rocks. All right, now we'll paint the shadows on the rocks. So I'm just taking some uh, ultramarine and a little tiny bit of quinacridone sienna here and there because in that shadow you can see it gets very dark. So I'm just dropping some extra color in there. So all we're painting here is the shadow. So really study that, study the photo out where the, where the shadow and the light, are, the, light are, uh, the light is exposed on those rocks and that, that really makes it nice. So you can see I'm just dropping some color. It's wet, so I'm going back, dropping a little bit of uh, cobalt blue, a little ultra, a little quincienna mixing up the colors in there. As you know, rocks are always a nice cool and a nice warm. Cool being the blues here and the warm being the quinacridone sienna. But basically we're just painting the shadows. So if you look at it, just paint your way across here uh, with the shadows very carefully, leaving that light on the rocks. Okay, I'll just let you watch me there. Okay. 
can see I'm dropping in a little bit of quinacridone sienna here and there. Even a little rose, you know, you can just mix up the colors there. And you can look at that uh, photo, study those shadows. Notice when I painted the trees, uh, I wasn't chasing the value that's in the photo because that it's it's very dark in the photo, and if you try to get that on the uh, uh, in your in your watercolors, it just doesn't work. So you know it, because the trees become the dark a dark value, and then the rocks have to be darker than the trees, and then you end up with all this opaque color. So you want to save the transparency. A little more blue in that. There's a big shadow there, and we'll just pop a little more blue in there. And you, you know, you can drop some raw sienna in there, some quinciana. A lot of colors in there. That's the beauty of rocks. You know, they're they're just wonderful paint because they're they're loaded with all these wonderful colors. Uh, you can see that's going to get a lot darker, but now that you have it, now it's wet, you can drop, you can drop all this wonderful color in there and let it run down so that, you know, you're not painting a wall with a roller here. You're painting these beautiful rocks that have many, many facets to it, you know. So the facets reflect different light and, you know, you want to show that different light in there. Okay, a little touch here and there while you have that dark color. Keep working that value, you know. Little streaks of cracks and crevices in the rocks that you want to get. Okay, just let it run down. Let it do it while it's wet so that you, you don't have any hard edges, you know. All the stuff is set back in the shadows. All right, just tying the trees into the rocks, you know, so you have some growth on top of the rocks that that help blend these two shapes together. All right, we're what, working on the steps here. There's, it looks like steps, but it's actually natural, you know, just a natural plateau of, of stone. It's wonderful. Arcadia is a w beautiful, beautiful place to go and to paint, and just wonderful. These are all the same color here, ultramarine, a touch of rose, a touch of quinciana, raw sienna, all beautiful colors. Just study out the photo, study out the rocks. Little touch here and there. Keep blending those two shapes of the rocks and the trees. A little more shadow in there. It's all wet. Keep it wet and spray it if you have to, but you know, keep that movement going and keep those beautiful shapes and colors coming down. All right. Okay, let's get the uh, front rocks in now. This is these are really nice and deep and warm. So this is quinciana, quinacridone sienna, and ultramarine, and be really beautiful tones here. Wonderful, beautiful, warm rocks, you know, right in the front. And as you put these in, you know, those 
that back section is going to go back further and further. So just enjoy this. This is really a wonderful wonderful chance to put in these deep warm colors you know that that quinacridone sienna is such a beautiful color and it, it's just absolutely right on here with these rocks you can see how beautiful they are just study the out you know you're not putting a portrait of the rocks you just want to show the you know give the impression of those rocks and you know loosen it up you know, there's a lot of almost white rocks there, but you can cover those with uh, some nice light color. All right, and finally, we're going to get this, go back to the water here. And um, what we want to do is really dry brush it and really scumble that, that, uh, this is the same color. This is Windsor blue, or you know, and we just very dry brush here. We want to leave that sparkle. So we're placing the color on the, the second coat on the water on the ocean here, and then once we get the in, inside the cove, we're going to go back with a much looser paint here. And what you want to make sure is that you cover the line that you just made with that that darker color, you know, as it comes into the cove. You want to break up that line, keep it nice and loose. And, you know, leave some, leave some sparkle there. You go right back uh, to the horizon. I would get rid of the horizon, you know, have no, you really don't want a horizon line here, so wipe it out. And you can throw some of this color up in the sky if you want. Keep it nice and loose and hidden. Okay, go back and do some, you know, some uh, calligraphy on the rocks here, and some little cracks and crevices, as much as you want. You know, you don't really need a lot because that's not really where you want the people to look. You want your viewer to go back and look, look at that section in the back. That's the important section. So little reflection in the water here. Those trees are reflecting down into the water. So just the, I'm just using the same Windsor blue with some little bit of raw sienna in there. Make that deep green. Just weave that right out into the, into the ocean there. So it's darker as it, you know, it's darker in the cove here where it's reflecting and then add more water to it as you come out and just loosen that up. Okay. All right. And that it's a beautiful, amazing view. Amazing. And you can sit, stand right on those rocks. All right. Finally, I'm just going to add a little sailboat off in the distance there. Just a little gray color, a little blue gray. Not too heavy. It's fading off in the distance. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you again very soon.